Hey guys, welcome back to another Capital Gains 500 video. And today we are gonna be taking a look at Apple. And we are going into the Apple event shortly. If not, you're aware already in it. I'm making this video the day before and I am gonna do my stock prediction on Apple for its event and going forward. Currently, tomorrow, the Apple event is gonna start at 10 a.m. Pacific time. It's gonna be a big event. Already in anticipation of for what it's gonna bring, the stock market has gone crazy up, the whole market in general, but Apple was one of the big winners today, going up as much as almost 7%, closing at a 6.35%, for a total additional increase in stock price of $7.43. And this was a great day. I really liked trading today. I was having a lot of fun. A lot of people were jumping into this rally, even though it gapped a little bit overnight and it was going strong into the open. After an hour of getting its direction of where it wanted to go correctly, it took off like a rocket ship. It went straight up. Nothing could stop it. Had a little hiccup right here but it was a nice entry point for anyone who wanted to purchase it and it kept on going. So moving forward, where do I see the stock going tomorrow for the main event? Well, just looking at the past three days in its behavior, Apple is just barely starting to take off. Before that, in the last week of trading, it was in a nice range between 112 to 118. It was just trading in this range. It finally broke out over the weekend and today it, it's just getting started. If we take a look at the 15 minute, it basically formed a nice bull flag right here, another entry ready to go for tomorrow. I'm predicting that the stock is gonna open kind of parallel, at most at its high, a little bit over its high of 125. And that is actually where I would personally like to take an entry for a trade. If you're looking to buy Apple for the long run, at any point tomorrow, I believe it's gonna be a great price. Of course, we should have bought it under 120 and started making those profits. If you would have purchased Apple way before 120, not even not even today, not even Monday, October the 12th, but on Friday, at, at the close, at the close, you would have made in one day that six, 7% uh, that it went up today. But Apple has so much more room to go. If we look at Apple on the daily, what I'm seeing is a really nice wedge right here. It did take a step back in the beginning of September. By the end of September, it started to figure itself out where it wanted to go. And of course, because we're having the event soon, it then started to squeeze into another pendant right here. And that is why today we took off. But going forward, this stock is gonna have so much momentum. If people did not get, on, get in on it today, on Monday, uh, certainly on Tuesday during the event, people are gonna be hopping on. I wouldn't be surprised to see Apple jump up another $4 minimum for another increase of two to 3% easily tomorrow. In my opinion, I do think it could reach 130-ish tomorrow because of the event before then taking a break and going back. So my prediction for the actual event, day, day of the event is for Apple to keep pushing, keep pushing, and then hit a stop around this these two points between 128.30 and 129.98 or almost 130. The reason for that is because as you can see in the history, we had a lot of gaps and a lot of um, unknown areas here. So I can easily see it moving up in this range, no problem if we look at the history. When it was having a lot of momentum right here back in August, it had a lot of momentum right here it built up, it took off, it, it uh, overnight trading took it up, but obviously in the day there was a little bit of sell off and within the next few days it was in a range before it took off once again. But once again, the event, the main event, the iPhone 12, new product launch, a lot of hype around it. It should be an amazing iPhone. Hopefully it has 5G capability. If it does, I do not, I will not be surprised to, like I said, to see this stock hit this range, almost 130 before it has a pullback. So I will be careful with that. Um, and if you start seeing a, a sell-off of Apple stock, it is because people are trying to take profits. But if you're a long-term holder, I would not sell. I would just keep it in my portfolio for longer. Um, but because I do see Apple just gonna get, it's just gonna get more and more expensive as time continues. I wouldn't be surprised if we stay in this range between 125 to 130 for a while before it starts moving once again. But that is what I'm seeing with Apple. Overall, in the daily, I'm also seeing a nice U 
if it does continue to go this high up if we can hit 137 once again uh, we will be making that U right here and then these two this is going to be another strong range of buyers and sellers especially sellers and once we can break these two strong resistance i will like to take a longer position on apple as i see it going even further but all this is going to ha happen in in uh later on down the line i expect this to happen this scenario to happen once we have earnings and a strong earnings will easily push up the stock no problem just like its last earnings did and it gapped up and it stayed there and it just kept going and it has not come down from there since from this gap right here it has not ever it has not closed it it won't close it it'll continue to go up in my opinion again i'm gonna i'm trying to keep an eye on this cup and handle if it does start to uh, fully form but we are in critical ranges now uh, what's the best price to purchase at once again it, it was last week long positions depending on if you're buying stock last week if you're buying long positions and options last week and holding them till january call options would have been great uh, but moving forward i would just be very careful i would have stop losses um, these are these lines already are my stop losses and take profits if we do open up like I said around the 125 of Apple it starts moving up I will look to take profits at 128 and if it pushes hard I will hold on and put a stop loss at 128 to capture profits and push all the way to 130 in my opinion and that is just for October 13th of what I plan to do because of the event after the event I don't I have no idea of how investors are going to fully um, react with them wanting to take full profits and just selling out selling out or continue pushing the stock for a third day in a row before we start hitting the super strong resistance uh, starting at 133 135 137 uh, and maybe even starting to form the handle on the cup is that possible yes it is if we start handle forming the handle it'll give a nice position to go long once again and we'll have the handle and we could probably even have another pendant with a lot of buyers and sellers pushing on each other but i think ultimately buyers are going to continue to win apple has just been unstoppable this whole year it's crazy it's giving a lot of investors a lot of opportunity all you have to do is wait for proper setups uh, have proper stop losses in case you do buy a little bit too high if you're buying to if, if this could all go south quickly uh and also in my opinion uh this is actually best case scenario because everybody likes when a stock goes up no one likes when a stock goes down so if apple was to open at this at the at its same point of 124 125 and just quickly start going down as the event is happening and investors are selling quickly then i would have a stop loss around here uh around 123 so i will get stopped out and then see where the stock goes and reposition myself so uh, always be careful when you're investing always know what where you want to enter and exit overall th this stock once again i'm not gonna say like oh you should buy it at this price you should buy it at that price it's very it's actually at, at this point it seems pretty unpredictable the best thing you can do is if you're a long-term investor long-term hold investor just keep adding it to your portfolio if you truly 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 believe in apple i certainly do the reason why i trade it in options is because i like it when it moves fast and make uh move make gains gains much quicker and faster and obviously with some of those gains then I, t I take that profit and take it into um, long-term positions but I like to make some quick profit here and there with options trading so that's why I like to trade this and that's why I'm trying to have a plan in place to position myself to take advantage of the movement i am personally anticipating let me know down in the comments below what you think was how my analysis was do you see all these pendants forming and apple being super super bullish easily if it starts hitting the 137 138 range will it break out the first time or will we have to test it two or three times before apple finally takes off i don't know i'm i'm sure i'm sure if we're around this range and earnings is around the corner it will break it uh but with especially with great earnings um so so be on the lookout for that as of now this is where we're at uh good luck have fun trade safely this was for educational entertainment purposes only in my opinion nothing is guaranteed i hope you don't take this too hard 
Um, like I said, the, my worst case scenario is I'm going to have a stop loss if in case it doesn't go my way. I'm going to be trading at the open. I don't have a position going, going overnight because right now with the stock market and volatility and elections, I don't like to have positions open overnight unless I'm very certain of where it's going to go and I'm hedging. So for that reason, I, I do not have a position right now. I'm waiting for tomorrow. Let's see where it opens and I'll have my levels in place ready to go. So with that, have a great day. Remember to subscribe to the channel for more stock, mar stock market analysis. Let me know in the comments down below what's the next stock that you want me to take a look at. And I will probably could make a video on it. Thank you and have a great day. Lift off of the Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon. Go NASA, go SpaceX, Godspeed, Bob and Doug. Godspeed indeed. Vehicle pitching down range.